wildlife biologists and working with private landowners, uh, we hear a lot that you know quail are dead. Where there's no quail anymore, there's no reason to do this. But this farm that we're on and this this area, this uh, quail restoration landscape that we're in, is proof that we can bring them back. You know, you have the landowners, you have the right landowners doing the right management and doing the management at the right time. Uh, it's definitely possible to have a decent population uh, of quail, not, not necessarily just on one particular farm, but across the landscape, and that's what we're going for here. Nice. Dead bird. Dead bird. When I moved to Carroll County, there probably wasn't a bird dog left in the county. We have a lot of guys that have went back. They now own dogs, raise dogs. We have a lot of quail hunters in the county now. It has, has responded to the bird numbers. Look at that stand of little blue you got from that burn we did two years ago. So let's go take a look at this field. You burned it this summer, right? In yep. August? Yeah. Well, let's see what we did to these little trees. That was one of the targets we had, was trying to set these trees back. And if you look at it, see how that's oh, yeah. really it's dead? It doesn't have any green brutal. stuff in it. Uh -huh. But if you look, we still have a little energy in the root system here. But back in 2000, MDC decided they needed to work on private land if we really wanted to affect habitat as a statewide because 93% of the state is privately owned. It's all about getting meeting the landowner's objectives for the property. We don't come in with objectives. We try to feel out what the landowner's objective is and then help guide them on how to achieve those. It used to be you'd come up when we first started hunting, would you'd have birds every you'd kind of point you know where they were at. And then it got where it wasn't even you wouldn't even want didn't even want to go hunting because there wasn't you might get three or four cubbies up all day long. So and then when they come up with the quail habitat program, it was like we're in, we're in. So we started doing that, and Lee's been great, and it's really worked out well. And I think the numbers show it. The quail numbers are very good, and this is a a, a unique situation because there's actually three brothers here that own around 1,500 acres. That's almost all contiguous, so it's a really good opportunity. They all have very good conservation ethics and, and they're conservation minded so we've had a really good opportunity here to do some incredible habitat work. And this managed area is, is several landowners that are, are managing very strongly for quail. Um, it's, it's a management intensive as you can see um, out here around us. Um, it's, it's high diversity grasses, wildflowers, um, there's woody cover, there's food. I mean, it's very, very intensely managed for quail. Um, it's, it's, you know, a lot of people ask me what gets me out of bed, and, and it's success stories with these landowners. And, you know, hearing, coming out here and hearing, you know, 18, 19 coveys and, and getting to the point where you're losing track of the amount of coveys that you're hearing, um, that, that gives me jazzed up, and it's, it's one of the biggest reasons why I love my job.